Slaying the Giant of Procrastination. You can go through seasons where you get behind. Instead of moving with God and His plan, you get caught up with the things of life, your feelings, or you can get distracted by things that seem right. Maybe you've said yes to helping someone else when you should have said no. Or maybe the calling seemed too overwhelming and you weren't even sure how to start. Or perhaps you've had a setback and the path you were once so excited about has become seemingly lost. Procrastination is a destiny stealer. Time goes by so quickly that before you know it, years have passed and you can't really remember how you got where you are now. But not only does God have a plan at work in you, He has given you everything you need to complete what He's called you to do. He says, when you get off track, you can come to Him, ask for forgiveness, and He will redeem the lost time. Healing you, restoring you, and getting you back on track to fulfill all He has designed you for. As you hear these scriptures, be encouraged. It's not too late. He's calling you, and He still wants to use you. The hand of the diligent will rule, but the lazy man will be put to forced labor. Proverbs 12, 24. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be unwise but understand what the will of the Lord is. Ephesians 5, 16. And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, 2. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Christ. Colossians 3, 23 through 24. He who has a slack hand becomes poor, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Proverbs 10, 4. To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. Ecclesiastes 3, 1. He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Proverbs 28, 13. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. 2 Corinthians 12, 9. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4:13. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Isaiah 55:11. Dear Lord, we lift up every person watching this. For those who have felt they have missed your calling, we pray that as they ask for forgiveness for their procrastination, that you forgive them according to your word. Now today, give them fresh vision and a newfound passion for your will and purpose for their lives. Use them to proclaim your name in whatever field you have called them to. Strengthen them in their weaknesses and be the Lord over their strengths. Let your will be done on earth and in their lives as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name, amen.